Okay, so the purpose of this video is probably one of the most important ones, in fact. Um, this is how we respond to our assignments and to our homework. Now, you might hear the word assignment or you might hear the word homework throughout this. They mean exactly the same thing. The, what Google Classroom doesn't use the word homework, it uses assignment. Your teachers might use the word homework. It doesn't actually matter. Now, in order to respond to an assignment, it's very, very simple. Firstly, you'll know you have an assignment because it shows up in three different places. Here's our Google Classroom dashboard. On my page over here, I can see that I've got an assignment over there. Another way in which I can tell that I've got an assignment, if I click into my classroom, on my stream, it shows me that I've got a new assignment just over here. If I go to my classwork, it will show me that I actually got a new assignment. If I go down to Christmas Carol, there it is. So you are able to see that you've got an assignment in three different places. Now, it doesn't actually matter where you click. It doesn't matter which one you click on. It's all exactly the same thing. If I click over here, the first thing that you're going to see, and we're going to go to view assignment, is a series of instructions. And what you will find is every time you're given an assignment or given homework, you're going to see something very, very similar to this. You'll see an ELO, a learning objective. You'll then get some directions from your teachers. They might then include information on the mark scheme, so how this is going to be marked. There will always be something on the time, so when this is due in, and the specific time. So you'll notice, for example, 2nd of June, 7 p.m. That's a hard deadline. It must be done by 7 p.m. In addition to that, the turn-in process, so how you turn the work in, and then any extensions. For any students that finish really, really early, um, you might want to sort of try something different, try to add a little bit more information, you want to do some more research, there will usually be an extension. At the very least, there will always be an LO, there will always be directions, there will usually be marks in time. Your teachers may modify this slightly, but it will look basically similar to this. Make sure that you read it very carefully. Make sure you're absolutely aware of what you have to do. If you have any problems, just contact your teacher via email. It's very, very simple. In addition to that, I said a second ago that the actual time in which this is due in is very strict. So in our case here, this assignment is due in on the 2nd of June by 7 p.m. If you don't get it in by 7 p.m., then it's late. It's as simple as that, and that will um, very likely lead to a sanction. Also bear in mind that your parents will be receiving reports potentially weekly from Google Classroom. These are not things that the teachers have to make. These are things that are automatically generated. So if work is coming in late, your parents will know. So just be very, very cautious about this. If you're a bit worried about where you can find out where all your deadlines are, these are all added to your Google Calendar, which we'll look at a bit later on. Now, as part of your assignment, your teachers will also give you lots of different materials. So here, for example, in this assignment, the student's got a PDF, so they can actually open that up, and it's going to open up a PDF. So this might be something that's designed to help them with the homework itself. You'll also notice, as an example as well, I'm just going to get out of this, the teacher has given a PowerPoint. So the teacher's actually given the PowerPoint that the student can use to help them work through this. In addition to that, teachers will also be providing either an audio recording of themselves talking about the assignment or a video recording of themselves going through the assignment. And that, you can see, is just over here. So just be aware that you'll have lots of different ways in which to try and understand this piece of work. Now, in order to respond to it, we've got to make sure that we actually create a document. Now, the question here is, how does Dickens present Scrooge in Stave 1? This is just an example of a Year 11 English student's work they're going to have to answer. In order to respond to the work, it's actually very, very simple. We go to Add or Create, and we click on that. And then we're going to get some options. We get Google Drive, Link, File, and at the bottom here, we get Create New. We've got Docs, Slides, Sheets, and Drawings. Now, because this is a written piece of work, I'm responding in writing. Simplest thing for me to do is use Docs. Google Docs is Google's version of Microsoft Word. Google um, Slides is Google's version of PowerPoint. Sheets is Google's versions of Windows Excel, and Drawings is their own thing. So we're going to click on Docs, and when we click on that, we're going to see it's going to be creating a new document. We're just going to wait a moment, but it should be created pretty quickly. Brilliant. Once we've got that and we've created our document, very, very simply, we can click on that. In some cases, it might just pop up automatically. It might not. Just make sure you click on it. It pops It pops up automatically for people um, who don't have pop-up blockers um, on their um, uh, the, on Google Chrome or whatever sort of um, system they use to access the internet. So over here, very, very simply, we now have the opportunity to respond. You'll notice this says student one demo. It automatically puts your name in there. So you don't have to change that. And then we've got the question, how does Dickens present Scrooge in stave one? Now, we get the opportunity, essentially, to do the work. So for whatever we might put in the answer, whatever it is, etc. 
And essentially that's it. Once we've done our work, we're finished. Now remember, Google Docs saves as you go, but you've got to remember, and this is probably the most important thing and something that's going to throw off some of you, just to just remember this, okay? Once you've finished everything, you have to hit this button here that says turn in. If you don't turn in, literally turn in the piece of work to a teacher, then it's going to come up on their system as missing. And as a result, it's going to come up on your parents' report as you have not done the work, essentially. Now, in addition to that, before we hit turn in, if there's a particular thing that you're struggling with, what's really cool about Google Docs is that you can add commentary. So, for example, let's imagine I've written something over here, and we'll notice this little comment bar pop up. I'm going to add a comment. It could be something like, sir, I'm really struggling with this point. Now, remember, and then we hit comment. Now, remember, the only person that can see these comments is your teacher. In fact, the only person that can see anything that any student does is the teacher. Everything that's here is between you and the teacher, and that's it. No one else will see it. So you don't have to worry or feel embarrassed about something you might not understand. It's all here, okay? And your teachers will be responding to these. They see all of these comments, and they will respond. Once we've done everything, we've given up our answer and all the rest of it, we hit our turn in. And at this stage, we're almost there. We're almost there, okay? Now, before I hit turn in, I'm just going to hit cancel for the second. Before I turn this in, I want you to be aware of the fact that you can add further private comments. So, again, these are things that only your teacher is going to see. So, you might want to say to your teacher something along the lines of, um, I didn't feel this was explained properly. Explain properly. Can you add a video on whatever? on X, we'll say, okay, on whatever it is. So perhaps there is just something you didn't get, whatever it is. Remember, the only person that can possibly see this is your teacher, okay? So you can add those private comments in, hit send, and as simple as that, your teacher is now going to have that private comment. At this point here, we've done everything. We've written our document, we've gone through all the um, information, we then hit turn in. As you see, I, got an, I just got a message from that student. There you go, just to prove it. Once I've done that, I'm going to hit turn in. And it's going to say four attachments to be submitted. So these are the four attachments. These are the things that the teacher has given you. Then this is yours, what you've written over there. It's absolutely okay just to hit turn in at that point. It might take a moment or two, but that's it. And how do you know your work is actually in? How do you know that your teacher's actually got it? Because it says right there, turned in. At this point here, you can literally close the window if you like, because it doesn't matter. It's all done. And remember, it's automatically saving for you as you go. So, in a nutshell, that's how you respond. If you have any other questions on this particular procedure, um, you just please email myself or please talk to your teacher. They'll be able to talk to you a little bit more about it.